Hey guys, Melissa here, and I am prepared to stir up a little controversy today. I've been thinking about making this video for a week and just getting myself ready for the response because I want to talk today about the one thing that I wish yoga teachers would stop talking about. Just stop it. Let's just let it go. Let's never speak of it again. And that thing is, are you ready? Drum roll, please. I wish we would stop talking about getting six pack abs. Just stop it, just let it go. There's no reason for us to talk about this. And I have three major reasons why this drives me so crazy. So I wanna talk about why I want us to stop talking about the six pack. The first reason is six pack abs are not actually an indicator of strength or of health. The reason that we, or some people might get a six pack is because the superficial muscles in the abdominal wall are actually bulging through the fascia, which is the connective tissue that overlies all the muscles in the body. It's like a little um, second skin underneath the skin. So when we get a six pack, the superficial muscles actually become overdeveloped and they push through that fascia, creating bulging in specific places, creating that six pack ab look. Now this is not necessarily a bad thing, in most people's bodies, but those superficial muscles don't do a lot of heavy lifting. They don't do a lot of actual work and they're not very strong. So if you have a six pack, it's not necessarily an indicator that you're any stronger than somebody who doesn't have a six pack. Reason number two that I want us to stop talking about this is because not everybody's body is genetically predisposed to having six pack abs. My body is one of those bodies, so no matter what weight I'm at, no matter what my fitness level, no matter what I'm doing for exercise, my body is never going to actually support a six-pack. That's just the way that my abdominal wall is designed. And a lot of people's bodies are like this. So when we promote you know, yoga for six-pack abs or something like that or talk about it as a goal from our yoga practice or a benefit of the yoga practice, which a lot of people do, we're actually sending a message that this is attainable for everybody. And that's a myth. That's not actually true. So that leads me to point number three, which is when we talk about the six pack, it's actually body shaming. So it's telling people if you don't have a six pack from your yoga practice, you might actually be a failure. And this is where I know that I'm gonna get a lot of controversy and a lot of responses because a lot of yoga teachers are really good at coming back and saying, oh no, that's not what I'm trying to say at all. But I think to say that talking about the six pack is not body shaming is a form of denial. So yoga teachers, let's not be in denial about the power of our words when we tell students what the benefit of their practice is gonna be. And if it's something that's superficial and physical and that tied to society's image of what beauty should be, we really are shaming people for whom this is not a realistic goal and it's not a necessary goal. So let's stop. Let's stop talking about the six pack. There are so many other hundreds of benefits from practicing yoga and so many other great things that we can tell our students about what they can get from the practice and what they can get from our classes. We don't need it. We can do better. We can talk about other things. So if you're a yoga teacher who talks about the six pack, I encourage you to think about the impact and the power that your words have on your students. And maybe we can let it go. We can talk and shift the dialogue and talk differently about the amazing benefits of yoga. So one thing that I wanna touch on really quickly is, you know, when I talk about this with other yoga teachers, sometimes they'll say to me, yeah, but don't you teach core strength vinyasa? Isn't that what your class is all about? Well, no, actually not at all. Core strength vinyasa is about deeper core strength. It's about going into the actual core, not the superficial layer of abdominal muscles, but like the core of an apple, going into the center of the body and building and strengthening those muscles and that muscle meridian that goes all the way up through the body that actually supports health, supports healthy digestion, builds real deep strength and helps with overall physical longevity and all kinds of other benefits. So I'm passionate about this topic. I hope that we can all stop talking about the six pack and just move on to things that are much more important physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. I would love to hear what you think about this topic. I'm sure there are people out there who disagree with me. So please feel free to hit up the comments below. Let me know what you think. 
Do you talk about the six pack? Do you think it's important? Why or why not? I especially want to hear from you if you disagree. So let's have a, a, a supportive dialogue around this topic and maybe we'll all evolve together. So I hope you have a great day. I'm about to go get my practice on and not worry about my six pack. And uh, hopefully we'll talk soon. So have a good one. Namaste.